Uh, hi, uh, my name is Marcus Lee, and I'm a, a four-year member of the tennis team. I've been a captain for the past two years. Hi, I'm Rachel Roxar today. I'm also a senior, and I've also been on the tennis team for the past four years. Um, so I guess, I guess I'll just go through some of the highlights of our season so far, at least from my standpoint. So I think like our biggest competitors this year were, of course, Boulder City, which is who are our rivals, as well as uh, Bishop Gorman, who like is we also have like a very good rivalry with. And um, I'll just start with the Boulder City match for me because I think even going back to for freshman grade, I started as singles against Boulder City, and I was always super nervous playing them because obviously there's this big rivalry and everyone's like, we need to beat these guys, right? So I even still this year, like I was super nervous going into this first game uh, against them. As I'm a singles player, and it was it was one of the worst games I've ever played. Actually, I the first my first match I was down 0-4 in a tiebreaker, and I, I don't know what kicked in, but like I was just like, no, I'm like not losing to this kid, and I came back and won all seven all seven of the points after that. And I beat him in a 7-6 tiebreak win. And I beat the other two kids pretty easily after that, after I kind of got my mojo, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know, but that's that was a pretty big highlight. That, and I think, like again, like our entire team played very well against Border City. Like We beat them 12-6. Our doubles have really stepped up. And yeah, that, that just made me super happy, just because ever since freshman year, we've always wanted to beat them. And we finally got to sort of stick it to them. And then uh, to recap the Boulder City match, or not Boulder, sorry, uh, Gorman, uh, the Gorman match. Uh, same thing kind of happened, except I wasn't su super nervous, so I kind of smacked all three of their singles. Uh, I mean, I, I think they're a little younger, I was more experienced, I had like more tennis IQ, if that's what you want to call it, kind of played, played very smart. Um, and again, actually, it was really crazy, our doubles really stepped up. Um, they because our doubles was always considered like our weaker quote unquote uh, link of our team, but they did really well. And we also beat Gorman 12-6, which, which was actually pretty unexpected. So pretty happy to beat those guys too. Um, so for us on the girls' side, we also did really well against Boulder City, which in the past has always been really close. There's always some interesting line calls on their side. <laughs> and <laughs> There's always just some arguments either way. And um, even I remember my sophomore year, the coach, um, we had a little issue with our courts and we ended up moving our state match to a different site um, the day of, like actually an hour before state. And even though we were able to come back and win that time, it was just this kind of rivalry that we've always had with Boulder City. And this year we actually even ended up beating them, I think it was 16 to two. So our, and honestly like, all of our matches, we kind of slaughtered them, and you could tell they weren't happy with that, but I think I was just really proud of how much our team stuck together no matter what was going on, and we still did really, really well. And then um, when we went to the Gorman match, uh, which was actually a home match, we had a little bit harder time, but I still think we, even though we didn't win, it was 8-10, we lost, but I think we learned a lot about ourselves in that match, and. I know um, I actually ended up playing doubles that match. Normally I'm a singles player, but I played doubles. And my partner and I, we were down 2-5 in our first set, and we actually came back to win 7-5 in that match. And then after that we won, I think, 6-3 and 6-2. So we did pretty well, and um, we just learned about ourselves and how to keep fighting. And I think even though we lost overall as a team, our whole team realized what we need to do better in the future and how we just have to keep pushing overall. Um, the girls for sure were looking to win another state title and also we'd love to win a single state championship and double state championship and just kind of take it all, especially we want to beat Boulder City since they're such rivals and normally we'll end up playing them in the state match. Um, so we really just hopefully want to sweep um, yeah, I mean, uh, the guys share a lot of that sentiment. I think, like, moving forward for the second half of our season, I think yeah, the routine's pretty basic, actually. Like, we're going to keep practicing, getting better, getting stronger with our strokes, getting stronger both mentally and physically, thanks to Coach Charles and JL. Um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, obviously we have the same goals, right? Like, state, regionals, individuals, but I think 
what, or hopefully something we're looking forward to is that you come out and support our matches, mainly like our regionals and state, that's definitely going to be happening in Vegas. Just because I think it's like really cool whenever I go to like any athletic game and like you see a lot of people there, it just like, you can tell it really boosts like the morale of the players. And although like tennis is like an individual sport, like having your team behind you is like one of the things that really feels you like when you're on court. Like if you're ever feeling down, you're not playing well, you're like, yeah, but I gotta do it for the boys. So like, so that really lifts you up. So like, if, if any of you can like come to any of our games, that would obviously mean a lot. So yeah. Um, well, just some final thoughts. I think, I really think tennis has just really like shaped who I am as a person now. Like it's really made me grow in a sense. Like, I'm going to use one of uh, my coach's quotes, Jail. I'm going to use one of his quotes, uh, no bad feet, only bad footwork, which uh, was basically just him trying to get us to move our feet. But I think it also means a lot more. I mean, like, you shouldn't be complaining about, like, what's impacting you, like, the, uh, the other variables that you really can't control. You should be, like, really focusing, like, on yourself and, like, what you can do to, like, drive to be better. Like, how can you be more passionate? How can you be more driven? Like, how can you be more disciplined? like focusing on yourself rather than like getting mad at like other external variables, which is like something that I did a lot, like ninth, 10th, even some of 11th grade. Like I was always like really like down on myself. When I was playing, I was like, man, like I'm playing like absolute garbage today. Like why am I like this? Uh, but I think like I'm finally like growing and like I'm finally understood sort of like what that means to like focus on yourself more than others. And I think that actually helped me when I was against Boulder City. When I was down 04, I was like, okay, well, Stop like com stop, stop complaining. Like really think like how are you going to win this game, right? And I reassess my strategy. I reassess what I'm doing, and it worked. Surprise, surprise. So yeah. Um, I also think going off what Marcus said with that quote, that's kind of gone into a lot of what I think about high school and my high school experience, honestly, because not everything is always going to be perfect, but you kind of have to learn to adapt your own mentality and situation to how you can kind of have a better day, better life, and just, like, I mean, honestly, we all know that Meadows can be a tough school, but <laughs> we've, I think, we've gone through a lot, and we've learned how to manage athletics and academics, which is truly what being a student athlete is all about, and honestly, it's kind of preparing us for college, whether you play sports in college or not, just learning time management and learning what it means to be both a student and, a, and an athlete and not having to sacrifice either part of your education or your athletic abilities.